Abenaki artists living across Canada has gotten together and staged a group art exhibition. Yeah, it's in Montreal. And Anna Stracopoulos went to check it out. So Anna, tell us all about it. It's actually in what used to be a church, which is now the Musée des Maîtres et Artisans of Quebec. And I met with two of the artists who live in the Montreal area, and they told me about how they channel their feelings into their art. And here's the children of Iraq. Amel al Rekabi pours her feelings onto her canvases, pride in her native Iraq's rich history, grief over the succession of wars that have torn her homeland apart. This is what happened, the children is the default. Al Rekabi contacted artists living in cities across Canada, asking them to be part of Iraqi Horizon, the first group exhibit of Iraqi Canadian artists. Zainab Shaban left it the chance to be part of the show. We have to show what we feel, what, we, what we're what we looking for, um, um, for hope, for inspiration, and that's what we're, what we're aiming. Shaban uses brilliant colors, a contrast to the stark reality of what's happened to the country she once called home. We will never like forget our country, and there's always hope, um, there's always inspiration. Um, uh, the people are there suffering, but we feel for them. And um, our country is not a small country that can be just forgotten. Each of the 15 artists whose work hangs here express their feelings and their art in vastly different ways. It's what makes this show so rich. Iraqi Horizon is at the Musée des Maîtres et Artisans du Québec. It's in Ville Saint Laurent, right next to the Cégep Saint Laurent. That's interesting to see. Sounds great. Thank you, Anna. And coming up at 5.30, worries about a wine shortage. Unless it comes from Canada, we'll find out how the climate is proving to be a boost to local vintages. And coming up next, the end of an era as David Beckham gets ready for his last game.